Hi, Cancerian. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, I call you guys Cancerian because I believe that the word cancer is very infected, literally. Uh, and so that's why. Um, Cancerian. I will do just uh, the back to normal. I don't know if you are new to my channel, then welcome. Uh, then back to normal means that I, my intention for this reading is to ask the universe what you need to hear most right now. Uh, and then every other week, um, you will get a love reading, like specifically focusing on your uh, partnership in romantic crime. Um, and also, it won't be an extended in this uh, in this video because mainly I'm going to focus on private readings and I just don't have enough time to do both. And um, that's due to the fact that people seem to be struggling quite a lot these days. Uh, just around this time, I feel like it's a very transformative uh, time. We are going through a lot of deep changes. So, uh, Cancerian, I think we just are going to have to sort of uh, get through these two months until the end of the year and then it will all be calmer waters you can still like have a beautiful time at this time but there there's a lot of people struggling so that's why there will, won't be an extended um i thought about maybe go public with um um offering my private readings but i don't know yet because i'm up to here with um just outside of YouTube uh, to do these readings. So if there will be readings, private readings in the future, I'll let you know in the description box. Um, just not quite yet. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys. These two upcoming weeks. So that's from today, the 5th of November till the 15th. No, till the... Oh my God, I just checked it. Uh, the 5th till the 8th, it could be the 18th. Yes, it's the 18th, sorry. So the 5th till the 18th, sorry. Very confusing. It's probably right down there in the description box because I write it down afterwards. So let's do three cards. It gives me a bit of a story um, to sort of feel into what's going on overall in your life. Just give me a moment to feel Yes, beautiful. Uh, the first card out is Dragonfly. And Cancer and you guys have been my hybrid people for the longest time. I call you my hybrid people um, due to the fact that you're trying to blend the old with the new. Uh, that it feels like you literally are like the leading edge of uh, like trans, like coming into Earth. I know this, for some, this is going to sound so out there. And for some, it's like, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, that you arrived to this earth on one set of DNA, one set of DNA strings in your body, and you're sort of leaving um, with another set, uh, just the extra upgrade of the DNA. I feel like you guys, for some reason, are the leaders. Of course, there's going to be people around the world that sort of transforms and, and we, we continuously upgrade our body due to what works in the world and we leave behind like we don't have a tail we only have like the I have no idea what that's called in English Sanskuta in Swedish uh, and so that's what we're doing all the time but I feel like the upgrade is quite different this time around it feels like it's more about the senses, like bringing in more that we can have an understanding of the universe and our connection to it and stuff like that. So with the dragonfly coming out, which is a very hybrid card, let's get deeper into that in a minute. Um, and then the next card out is dreams. And then we have seven deadly sins. Sounds very dramatic. So let's see if it is. Uh, okay, guys. Give me a moment. Okay. I thought for sure I was going to get something different, but when I look at it now, it's like... 
it's it's almost like it is you and you you're the girl and obviously it can be both for a man and a woman uh but you're the girl here holding this dragonfly which is not a dragonfly it's a it's a dragon with fly wings because a dragonfly is a um uh, trollslenda and a dragon is quite different and a fly is quite different but the hype that's what i'm talking about this is the hybrid card blending something has a different meaning today i feel like you're holding you're holding on to this dragonfly and it's like it's like cancer you're going through something that you sort of can't let go of you, you're struggling a bit to let go of something i feel like it, it just cl cl like clings to the dragonfly has sort of turned into what it was supposed to turn into almost like the caterpillar the larve uh it, wants to turn into wants it does it turns into a butterfly eventually so the caterpillar has its own life and when that phase uh, period in that in that caterpillar's life is has come to an end it's just the next natural step to move into the butterfly phase and it feels like this dragonfly has made that shift it's like it has sort of become a butterfly and it's ready it's ready to start the new phase as almost like a completely different species coming from the caterpillar and and this is you guys like holding on to it like yes i am this new version yes i i know what i'm gonna leave behind and i know what i'm gonna step into but there's a whether you're aware of it or unaware of it this is what spirit gives me in this moment in time that you're holding on you have made um it's like you've done your homework, you've, you've uh, prepared for it, you're well equipped to like uh, whatever, wherever this fits in your life, like however this is playing out, I feel like there's something that you, if you, if you trained for it, like you, okay, for instance, I don't know why I say this, but um, so you want to take your driver's license depending on what age and maybe you've had your driver's license forever but you want to take your driver's license you practice for it you read you read for it, like the the um, theoretic part about it like reading up on the rules and just everything about traffic and and then you took drive driving lessons and you really learned how to drive you know how to drive and then you actually passed the test you actually took the test and you passed the writing you passed the driving you're good to go you somebody even brought bought you a car here's a new car here you have your driver's license you are ready to drive you haven't been driving so you're very new to traffic you're very new to cars in general in the sense that now you're on your own um, you you don't have the teacher next to you or somebody else that taught you how to drive. Um, you know the rules, like how how traffic works, but there's something that has you maybe not paralyzed, but you just don't go there. It's like, I, yeah, it's a beautiful car, it's really shiny and everything, but I don't want to get out there yet. It's like everything is ready, you pre prepare for it, you're so ready and you moved into that next phase. You are the butterfly phase now and, and you're just not flying. You're holding on to something. And I don't know what that is, Kinsir, and you know probably what that is. Or or you don't. Or it's a very it's a very you like you talk yourself out of it like it, if somebody says, "Why don't you drive?" like you even got a new car, they bought you a car yeah i know but you know today is that day when there's extra traffic and today i was gonna you know fill up the car and i lost my card and and it's like you're telling these stories that they don't seem like they're lies but it feels like you're you're telling yourself that this is like this is this is a story you need to keep telling in order for you to for, for it to make sense why you don't drive I hope this makes sense to somebody out there uh, that you you can take that next step. You're just not doing it. There's something in it that sort of scares you from before um, that you're 
what if it happens again? What if I fail? What if I get hit by a car? Um, like there's a, there's a worrisome feeling there. Your overall energy is quite good. Like it's really starting to feel balanced, I feel. I mean, you have come into, you have shifted and a person just can't shift into this new butterfly unless you're in some sort of balance. Like there's some lineup for this to even happen and that has happened you moved yourself in there and then for some reason you just don't go okay let's see where we go with this then we have dreams believe in your dreams so it feels like you want something you you want to do something you want to achieve something you want to go somewhere and you really are dreaming about it like i don't feel like it's maybe that much like in like she's sleeping here on the car but i feel like it's more visualizing daydreaming uh thinking about how it's going to be whatever that is whatever that is take i mean it's a general readings so take whatever applies so whether that's thinking about how a new relationship is going to be how if you're going to move somewhere new business new whatever you're thinking about it and and it, it truly is come, like when my dreams card come, come out that's sort of telling you you're all already halfway there. You're even more halfway there. More halfway there. More than halfway there. Like maybe you're 80% done. Like in 20%, it's all, all going to be here. And it's like you're preparing for it. You're thinking about it. You're daydreaming, daydreaming about it. But there's something that is a bit screwy here because even this feels ready. It's so tied into this card. It's like you're... It's like you're wishing that you had a car and it's already in the driveway. You wish that the next step could be here and it's already here. You're just not, you're just not stepping into it. And maybe it's a bit tricky because I feel like the new version of you, it's more, it's, this is more a mental block than anything. I don't feel like it's physical or like, like you can't physically, I feel it's more like a mental block that it has gotten to your mind a bit that I can dream about it and, and I almost pretend that it's not here yet. I pretend that it's not here yet. And maybe physically, maybe like manifestation wise, it, it, it isn't here yet. The thing that you want to happen, the thing that you want to experience is not here yet, but it, it just could, it really could be if you just took that next step. And I feel like that's a mental step. I Do you guys know what I mean? Like it, it's a mental block. So if you just sort of let yourself go, let yourself fly and soar and just be happy in the new place that you found, no matter what has happened in the past, no matter what has happened in the past. And I know that's a toughie. I, I do understand and can relate to, to how that is tough to really be able to move forward, even though moving forward last time maybe had you really beaten down. You had like good the very best intentions. You really thought it was really going to be like this dream was really going to be something else, like something else. And oh boy, did it turn out to be something else. And it's like, am I stupid for making the same but you're not making the same steps, the same path. The reason why you feel this hesitant is because you're thinking about how it was last time. So if you can just, if you can just drop that as much as possible and just hold to the dream and sort of know that you just don't... I feel like you learned your lesson. I don't believe in lessons in the, in the way that the universe gives you lessons and here learn your lesson and once you learned your lesson we're going to reward you that's parenting <laughs> that's not the universe that's not god um so it feels like whatever you're dreaming about now like it, it, it's a done deal and you've learned what you came from so you won't ever if that was a relationship that you came out of and you sort of if you made that same mistake again like no you you will recognize it from a thousand miles you won't go into business and make the same mistake you won't um like put your money that you don't have uh in a place where it doesn't succeed like 
all of that is taken care of due to the fact that you're coming from what, what you came from, right? So what you're dreaming about now, not only can happen, it has already, I feel like it has already happened. It's a done deal. And what we need now is let go of this. It's like you're fighting your own demons, Cancerian. I don't know quite what's going on with you, but there's something that you're fighting with. You're finding yourself. I feel like what if you look out in the world, don't look too far, but like in your, in, in your closest vicinity, if you look out to the world, it feels like it actually is quite calm. It's not too much to deal with. It's not too many negative people. It's not like the world hasn't ended around you. So I feel like this demon talk, it's more in your head. It's a mental game. It's a mental healing thing that's taking place right now. I'm going to do however many cards uh, that source. Can we just get, get some clarification around this? Cancerian, you're so ready. You're so ready. And it, 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 I, I want to give you the reassurance that it's safe to fly. It's safe to fall. Okay? You won't make the same mistake. You just won't. You've, it feels like you've grown so much. You're like a different person. And you just won't make the same mistakes. Okay, so the advice here, guys. Um, the advice here is just to sort of take a step back and be, gra be gratitude, be grateful for what you have. This is my gratitude card. It's sort of looking like it's showing you like what you already have, like what you already have in the palm of your hand, meaning what has already manifested in your life, what already exists friends, family, kids, parents, um, partner, you name it, whatever you have, be grateful for what you have and start to feel secure about what you have. Drop the whole moving into your dream state for, give it a couple of days. Like the, the universe, well, the universe is probably always, we have picked up speed. So like this, the speed energetically just has never been faster faster moving energy and so usually if i say like in the past probably people were recommending you if you change something you need like 28 days or 30 days or something if you really want to change something i'd say give it tops a week you really can see tremendous shifts like within three or four days so within three and four days sort of uh don't pay attention whatsoever to your dreams or what you're trying to manifest right now just be grateful for what you have just focus really on your home life where you feel safe where you feel like you already have succeeded um things like that to just shift the energy around and so you start to feel safe again when you feel safe and clear and like you know you know what you have then you get delivered more things and you get like sure and sure of yourself and you know what to do next rather than feeling a bit unsure um what am i doing here like what's the next step you those are not the questions anymore then then we have this very very soft card i almost wants to start to whisper it's very sensitive it's very I don't want to say fragile, but it's like, it's quite vulnerable. It's quite vulnerable and it's quite like, yeah, just give it a rest for a bit. Give yourself a break for just a couple of days. Try to look at what's right in front of you and sort of uh, respect this very, very calm, sensitive, raw, that's the that's the perfect word for how the energy feels raw it's very raw it's very new it's like a newfound place and you're just it's like you're just feeling your way through and so continue to feel your way through and you will end up in the in the most beautiful perfect place guys you have already shifted you are already the butterfly the car is in the driveway and 
And even though it feels like, no, it's not there or I can't see it, or even if it was, take a minute or two until you feel ready to start to live this new life or even try out whatever it is that you're seeking or going for at this moment in time. So just give yourself a break and just know that it's ready, know that it's there. And the minute you're like, okay, I know what to do now. I know where to go next and not to not to sort of blow things up and out of proportion like this is it no it's not it's the next step to something that you maybe want or maybe you don't you're gonna feel it out okay guys i hope this helps i hope it resonates with somebody out there um and so this is a reading for the next um, upcoming two weeks and then next week i'm focusing more on the love readings again so i hope to see you back in a week and please subscribe if you haven't already take care guys bye